Today on the IoT Show, we will talk about AI on the edge with Paul DeCarlo, and we are never going to give you up or let you down with the content that we're going to be sharing on today's episode. You are watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. We are on the road at Ignite 2019. I'm here with Paul DeCarlo. Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing really good, Olivier. It's good to see you again, especially here in Orlando. In Orlando. Um, Paul, you are here to tell us about a fantastic workshop that you built and is actually delivered here in Ignite uh, that talks about AI on the edge, concretely, how to make it happen. We claim that IoT is simple. We're making IoT as simple as we can. We are getting there. I think AI on the edge still has complexities that you're going to walk us through, make it a bit more clear and simple for us and for people to understand better what they can do. Absolutely. And what's, you know, even though what we're going to look at is going to be complex, we're going to do it in a short period of time. Yes. And I can tell you that where things are going is it's not going to be this complex. This is just what we have today. Okay. What we have coming is so beautiful and so, lovely. So what are we looking at here? So what we're looking at is we've got our lovely film crew and all of the attendees at Ignite. And you can see, we can detect them. We can see their backpacks. They're awesome backpacks that they have. Well, we can see the cool gyro cam over there. And you'll see this device that is actually producing all of these insights, and it's it's doing this pretty fast. I mean, yep. you, you know, this it's looks instant. Little, it's yeah. instant. Yeah, it's all happening on this little thing, on the little tiny Nvidia Jetson. Can you believe that? And what would, what would you yeah. say that's the size of? I would say a hamburger. I can't think of something else. What, what would you call <laughs> it's that? As warm as a hamburger. There you go. <laughs> and, it is, and it is about as warm as one too. Yeah. Uh, but this is a small form factor it device is. from Nvidia that has onboard GPU capabilities. Yeah. So it actually has a 512 CUDA core capable GPU on this small little device. Which is actually pretty cheap for what it runs. Uh, and, and for the, the scenarios you're going to implement that this kind of things is actually pretty powerful. Absolutely. And I, I, what we're doing right now, you know, we're doing one live cam. These yep. things can support this particular yep. device, can do like 32 independent streams at 30 frames per second. Not dropping a single frame. You think about that, that's almost a thousand frames and, per and second. And do that? Yeah. Across oh, the 32 of well. these streams. Okay. Yes. Really easy. Yeah. And so what we're going to kind of talk about is like, what this pathway that kind of got us here because there's been a lot of updates yep. recently that have made this stuff simple but for the time period of what we had ready for today we're going to sort of walk you through the history of what it looks like to build out these types of advanced workloads let's do that so we'll kind of start here I almost got gotcha. you. <laughs> by looking at the Intelligent Edge hands-on lab. So this is this one-stop area where yep. you can kind of go to build the demo that you just saw. Okay, and that's an open source project, meaning that you guys can just like dive in there and read along and eventually then do it yourself, right? Exactly. And the okay. beauty is all you need hardware-wise is one of those $99 Jetson Nano oh, devices that we the have here. Tiny one. Okay. So yeah, so we kind of make this really accessible by targeting that that entry level device, and okay. you know I say that it's a 128 CUDA compatible GPU core on that. 128 cores. Think about that for 99 bucks. Amazing. I, yeah, I don't I don't want to do the math, but it's cheaper. <laughs> Core. Cheap per core, yes, <laughs> yes, like yes, less than a dollar per core. And so we've got everything here too. So we've got materials for a whole presentation okay. deck. So we don't have time today, but if you want to go dig in further, you can do this by okay. visiting this yep, repo. Yep. Now I want to dive in a little bit just to show you like what one of these examples sort of looks like. What, okay. it, what it looks like to jump into this code. And I'm going to start here in the Docker folder. And if okay. you pay attention, notice when I expand this, I've got one, two, three, four, five base layers that I'm building okay. here. And the first one we're going to jump into, and they kind of, as they get longer, that's sort of like each step that I'm sort of yeah. taking to add the next thing on. One thing we've not said, I just realized, we've not mentioned this is powered by IoT Edge. Azure IoT Edge is the runtime. It, you we're know, just like dumping like that information at people, running IoT Edge, manage and configure from the cloud. Correct. Okay. So yes, this solution that you're seeing is not just running on this device. We should kind of roll that back and say, it's actually running in Microsoft Azure. So this yeah. is actually, um, we've got ourselves an IoT hub that has this device registered into it, yeah. and it has this workload that you saw earlier detecting all the people on it, and go. that's what's producing all the magic. So you okay. can see, here, here it is online here, this Jetson Xavier. And so the magical workload, if you will, that's making yeah. all that happen is this thing we call the YOLO module. YOLO. 
yellow. You only live. Yeah. Actually, in this case, YOLO. it's you only look once. You only live. Okay. And this is just made by this uh, fantastic developer. You should totally look him up, PJ Ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, he has some hilarious commit messages. Uh, very interesting guy. Um, has built out this model that has. Uh, you can pull it down. It has weights. They're already trained okay. to look at 80 approximately unique classes of objects. So that's why we're seeing people. We're seeing bags. We're seeing bottles. We're seeing chairs nice. and all that stuff. Okay. When we're looking out. Now, how do you get that? running in an yeah. IoT yeah. Edge module. Yeah. Yes. So the trick there, which is jumping into a little bit faster, is it's got to be a container. Yes. So how do you containerize a GPU accelerated workload? And what that sort of boils down to here, if you look at all of the, the various different files that I have yep. here, my yep. Docker files, we jump in here and we start with one that installs the base L4T libraries. Okay. So when NVIDIA ships this device, there is a distribution of Linux that, that comes along with it. And we're bringing along essentially the drivers that are necessary for interacting with the GPU. We're bringing okay. that all into our base layer. Okay. Now, if you've ever done any GPU development, you'll be aware of this thing called CUDA. It's okay. an SDK that allows you to write GPU accelerated code in C. It's an SDK, it just gives you access to SIMD instructions and all the okay. good stuff that okay. comes. See how fast we're going with we'll this? Level above. Okay. Yes. Yep, yep. Um, and then, and then we're, we're bringing that in. So now we bring CUDA on top of that. Yep. Then, and you, so, see, this starts to make sense. Yep. CUDA, CD, CUD, and N. Now we're bringing in the Deep Neural Network Library. Okay. Then we get down to OpenCV. Interesting. That thing has been out for a long time already. OpenCV yes. has been developed by the community over decades. Yes, absolutely. And so this brings down essentially an optimized build of OpenCV okay. that can take advantage of the GPU. So mm -hmm. you get accelerated processing for any of the frames that come in. Okay. And then finally, we, la we put right on top of that we put a modified version of Darknet that contains the YOLO object detection module. This is that piece that's developed by PJ Ready, but this is kind of a fork of it that does okay. a little bit more optimizations. We bring that binary down, okay. and then once we have all of that stuff, we build out the IoT Edge module that sort of communicates with all of those pieces in a Python package. Yeah. The beauty of that is that once you've built that module and eventually published, then you can share with your friends. Yes, that's the right. good thing. So, so, yeah, you do all the hard work, right? And then it just becomes no, something. No, you do the hard work, I do the demo. That's right. And oh, then yeah. you use <laughs> IoT Edge to deploy it out to all exactly. of your devices. Yes, exactly. there you go. I like that. And so, um, if you look inside here, I mean, like the, the way that this flows, there's really three main pieces here. We've got, um, you know, this main part that sort of wraps up the IoT Edge SDK. And then if you kind of go down into here, we've got the video capture piece. Okay. You can think how that might work. And here's the fun thing about this it doesn't have to work on just cameras. It can okay. work on YouTube video streams oh, as well. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna look at that in <laughs> which, a moment, right? Which makes, yeah, it also works yeah. with HoloLens. I mean, okay. if you wanna go really bizarre with it, yeah, you can you can detect holographic entities with this in the, in the mixed reality capture, but we're getting ahead okay, of ourselves yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So let's look here at what the deployment looks like. Like, How does this actually get thrown onto the device? Mm -hmm. yep. So the magic here, if you've looked at any of the IoT Edge stuff, is that deployment.json is basically the, the thing that rules your device. It, it, yep. It's the compliance standard. It's yep. what it's is the going contract. to run. It's the contract. You will run yeah. this yeah. and nothing else. And so down here, you'll see we bring the yellow module in. But remember, we need access to that GPU hardware. OK. This is where the magic comes in. We're mounting in these host devices, and these are essentially the mount points for the GPU hardware on the OS that's available on the device. Okay. You bring those things in, and now your containerized workload can make use of that 512 core capable CUDA GPU that's on board the device. Okay. And so once we get all that set up, you can sort of see how we get ourselves this sort of object detection. Now, okay. do we want to have fun here I think today? we do. Do we're we talking really... about YouTube stream? I'm thinking about that. So, okay. also a cool demonstration of just how you can change these workloads at runtime. You yep. know, you think about maybe you have a different model, maybe you have an update, something like that. Yep. We're gonna go into this YOLO module. And for those of you that are familiar with plugging in a camera into uh, the Linux operating system, you've probably seen that'll mount itself usually to the slash dev video zero path. And that's <laughs> what we're looking at right now. So we've got slash dev video zero is where okay. we're configuring that video source yep, now. Yep. I told you we can have some fun today. Okay. We are going to look at Rick Asley. Uh, has this really cool video um, <laughs> that you've probably seen before. Uh, We're going to go ahead and make that the video source, okay. and we'll save it. And that means that it's actually synchronizing the twin for that module. Yes. And the module will pick up that news stream 
Yes. And we'll just do the same thing he was doing on that video stream on that other video stream. That's if everything goes right, yes. And look, it, it, it's doing it. Oh my gosh, that's a person. That was a microphone, and that is a, it thinks he's wearing a tie. And I, I'm just loving this. There we yeah, go. We that can is, look at that for hours, actually. I'm fun. thinking that we're going to switch the main demo here, actually, to be that. Um, right. Uh, I think I think the I think, attendees at Ignite would I like this. I think it's this. time for that. Yes. I think we're D3 of Ignite. Uh, <laughs> it's time that we have some fun up there as well, right? And so, yeah, so we, so, you know, this work, we are never going to give you up. We are never going to let okay. you down with the features that come out for IoT okay. Edge. Awesome, Paul. <laughs> so here's the last thing I need you to do, Paul. I need you to make up on, on the spot and uh, ak.ms uh, short link. So IoT show, so ak.ms slash IoT show slash Intelligent Edge. And that's your direct link for learning more about that fantastic workshop that Paul put together. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching the IT show. See you soon, guys.